Okay, back with another review. Um, so I was at the Neil Young concert uh, last night. It was fucking awesome. Uh, I'll have some video footage up uh, sooner or later. Uh, didn't get to really do as many beer reviews as I wanted to do. Um, we were with a group of people. We were socializing. Uh, moving around from place to place pretty quick so I didn't really have a chance to like hit any bars and actually do any reviews you know have time to myself to do anything so uh, I did sort of like a mini brief review of a local IPA but uh, it, I wouldn't really call it a review uh, I just said the beer was good basically <laughs> so um, anyway I did on our way back home uh, we did stop at one of the larger NSLC's uh, the one in Bear River um, didn't really, we were hoping it would have, uh, I was hoping it would have a bit more selection and some more stuff that uh, my local NSLC doesn't have, but unfortunately all it really had was this, Carling Lager. Uh, it had other beers that I've already previously had just in like different form, like in bottles and stuff as opposed to cans, but um, Carling Lager was basically the only one. Uh, this is a uh, it's 4.9%. Uh, it's a Molson beer, and uh, that's that's about all we can really say about it. It's a lager. It's from Molson, 4.9%. Um, and I guess we'll just get right to the review here in a second. Okay, so Carling, we're back here with the uh, Carling Lager. Um, from what I can gather, uh, as I said, 4.9%, a Molson lager. From what I can gather, it's a uh, budget beer, basically a budget Molson beer. Uh, so a lower quality Molson beer, perhaps. Uh, I find that a bit hard to believe. I mean, you're really sort of, you're not exactly setting the bar high to start with as far as their basic brands go. So anyway, we'll give it a try. Uh, never write anything off until you've tried it. Uh, the head, as you can see I already poured it, the head was like that, but quickly went away. Uh, it seems to be holding a nice little ring there. A bit of lacing, but nothing special. Pretty color though, very, um, almost a murky gold. It's not, not very transparent, not very uh, clear, right, true, right? Oh wait. <laughs> I spoke too soon, it was just the condensation on the glass but uh, very golden color though uh, more golden than some lagers I've seen actually it's a very very clear beer uh, looks nice looks pretty enough so we'll give it the old uh, aroma t uh, test now not much um, kind of a soggy grain kind of smell, kind of dry too. I know that sounds like conflicting, um, sort of dry, dry grains that have been, I don't know, left kind of soggy and moist. Yeah, I know that sounds stupid too. Sounds stupid to me as well, but that's what I get anyway. Uh, yeah, there's not much, not much going on here. It's it's uh, it's not offensive or anything. It's just not really there. It's just sort of a grainy corn kind of smell, but it's very very mild, very light. Like I don't even know why this is 4.9 percent. You think they'd uh, be able to uh, uh, stick it right at five? Uh, this smells like uh, a very very light beer, more like in uh, say Corona or something like that, more in that league. Uh, you would think this is like 3% or up, like between 3 and 4.2% or something like that for a lager. Uh, that's sort of what the smell, that's the impression it gives me anyway. There's nothing there, you can't smell really any hops at all. Um, so we'll give it a taste now. Tastes like a lager. Uh, pretty, pretty mild though. Like I was saying before with the aroma, it, it tastes like a light lager. Um, and it's not. 4.9% it's is not a light lager. Um, but it certainly tastes that way. Um, perhaps this is a reduced calorie beer or something like that. That's about all I can think of that would... Because 
because it's quite, it's not especially watery or anything. Uh, it does have flavor there, like the flavor, what flavor it does have is quite up front. It's sort of a grainy, sort of toasted corn kind of flavor, but very mild and kind of bland and, you know, flattened out. But, um, it's not awful. Uh, it's just, uh, just a sort of a slug, slugging kind of beer, slug it down in a hot summer's day on a patio. But I don't really see the point. Uh, why do that when you could have equally uh, more enjoyable beers that provide the same service? Uh, Anchor Steam, you could do the same with Anchor Steam. There's a lager that you can drink in the summertime easily and you can still enjoy it because it has some flavor, right? This has no flavor really. Uh, wet cardboard, grain, corn, uh, probably more than, I'm probably giving it more credit for flavor than it actually even has. Uh, bit of a sweetness in the aftertaste. Mm. Doesn't, uh, one thing I'll say for it that's good is it doesn't dry your mouth out like regular Molson does. Nah, it might be an okay party beer, but I wouldn't recommend it. There's far better beers uh, here in Canada. Uh, cheap party beers that you can get. Schooner, Oland, uh, even Alexander Keys. Uh, yeah, I, I'd give it, uh, it's not offensive, so, I mean, it, you know, it, it's, I guess it's beer. Uh, I give it a 2 out of 5. So, uh, Carling Lager gets a 2 out of 5. It's not a passing grade. It's not worth trying. It's not worth looking at. Um, there's just far better lagers out there. Okay, uh, got one more beer coming up here in a minute, and I'm going to review that. And so, see you on the flip side, kids.